Imagine catching a body that happened to be your op's mother and for no reason at all leaving a trail of music videos and song lyrics that make it obvious that you might have had something to do with this instant man. We gotta talk about the ongoing beef between HMT Trey and Psycho Bob where it seems that the biggest victims were both of each other's mothers. It seems like an eye for an eye in both of these situations because each of their mothers was taken out in the exact same way. But the saddest thing about it is HMT Trey seemed to leave a clear message in his diss track to Psycho Bob. So we gotta talk about the most insane beef that I have ever seen man. The war in Florida going on right now in Broward County. We're gonna get into it right now but before we do i'm gonna need you to like comment subscribe we're gonna run up this video man make sure y'all check out the merch link in the description at staysafeworld.com we're on the road to 10k subs so make sure y'all tap into that and turn on your notification bell so whenever i post y'all tuned in man By now you've definitely heard of the infamous incident that happened to Psycho Bob where his mother was hit up in broad daylight by an unidentified shooter. But what if I told you rewind three years ago and this same incident happened to the mother of another rapper from South Florida, HMT Trey. Police confirming to NBC6 a woman is now dead. Chopper 6 flying over the scene earlier today and you can see a woman distraught and crying with police there. NBC 6 is Amanda Placentia is live in Miami Gardens and Amanda, what do you know about what may have happened? Well, Juwan, what we know right now is that this shooting happened outside of a busy shopping plaza, leaving business owners and customers terrified and police confirming that one woman was killed in this incident. And let me show you what's happening now. The medical examiner just arrived here on scene. We've also seen crime scene investigators blocking off this area as they continue to collect evidence and interview witnesses in the area. The shooting happened in the middle of the day around 1230 this afternoon. This is along north. Northwest 27th Avenue and 173rd Terrace in Miami Gardens. We saw a body covered with a tarp on the ground of the second floor hallway in this shopping plaza. Another woman was also distraught as she was collapsed on the ground in grief. We've seen loved ones understandably in anguish over this fatal shooting. And we don't know which business has happened in front of or whether it was a customer or an employee who was killed. We're waiting on police for that. Trey is a rising rapper from the Liberian set in Broward County. He is a growing fan base and an ongoing beef with Psycho Bob said Nightmare Babies. His rise to being a household Broward name came with an extreme tragedy that will shape him for the rest of his life. In Miami Gardens, the life of Missy Tomskins, a mother of eight, met its tragic end when she was gunned down in an extremely similar fashion. On the afternoon of March 29, 2021, officers responded to the Clearview Business Center on Northwest 27th Avenue and found Hopkins lying in a pool of blood, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds in the hallway of the second floor where her business was located. Paramedics pronounced her dead at the scene, police said. After a year-long investigation, they were basically able to use help from the community and an arrest warrant was issued for James Hardrick, who was eventually arrested with connection to the March 19, 2021 killing of the business owner, Misty Hopkins. But that didn't leave really any closure for HMT Trey because she was the mother of HMT Trey. And he has since dropped several diss tracks that alluded to attempting to hit up Psycho Bob's mom, as well as dropping a video seven days ago, basically claiming that if someone were to get hit up in his camp it was him who did it it has been rumored though that the person behind the shooting of missing hopkins none other than psycho bob this was never confirmed but the events that happened two days ago seem to paint an even darker picture When we talk about the incident that happened to D.D. Smart, according to police, officers responded to the 2000 block of Northwest 30th Way in Broward County, Lauder Hill at approximately 6 away p.m. after receiving reports of a shooting. The victim was pronounced dead at the scene by Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue after being found inside a van in the driveway of a single family home that got hit up from behind. Which leads us to the unfortunate tragedy that Psycho Bob basically happened and he basically realized behind bars that his mom had got hit up and died. After a woman was found dead inside a van in Fort Lauderdale. The back windows of the van appeared to be shot out. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margle is live with the latest on this investigation. Ian. Things in this Fort Lauderdale neighborhood really quiet now, but last night this was a very busy scene and I've spoken with family members of this victim. They tell me they are 
absolutely heartbroken today. Let's take you back to that scene last night, right around 6 p.m. Fort Lauderdale police say they responded to the home on Northwest 30th Way and 21st Street, where we're standing right now. They found a woman shot in the front seat of a van right in the driveway here. The woman was pronounced dead on the scene, and the detectives began their investigation, working the area for any evidence of what may have happened here or why this woman was targeted. Now, we have been able to confirm through family and neighbors, this woman was named Dorothy Smart. She went by Dee Dee. Neighbors say she was a lovely person, an absolutely great person to be around. We have also confirmed she is the mother of Florida rapper, South Florida rapper, Psycho Bob. Since this happened, a video of Psycho Bob seemingly claiming the body of Missy in Aventura Mall has gone viral. And has led to more and more speculation as to what's really happened. The video basically shows him claiming the body of his mom when he encountered HMT Trey and basically said that he sent her up to heaven. Honestly, this is the most brazen, self snitching, crazy beef that I have ever seen. And it's not only a matter of time before the cops find out about this, but it's probably a matter of time before more people crash out and, you know, innocent victims might end up getting hit. A lot of people in Broward County are honestly worried about being caught in the crossfire in this incident. And I honestly do not blame them because they're hitting people's moms now. They couldn't get to Psycho Bob because he's currently locked up in a federal gun charge bid, but they try to get someone that was close. And unfortunately, it doesn't even matter who the target is, but they're going to hit someone. And it really is an eye for an eye but you know what they say for that saying an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind and they're just going to end up hitting up each other destroying their own communities and that's all we could really say man but hey let me know in the comments what y'all think about this beef that's ongoing in florida and what has been going on and the diss tracks that have been ongoing man let me know what y'all think real say say shit you already know what's going on like comment subscribe man peace